Hey guys, so today I wanted to do something that I have not done in such a long time, and that is a favorites video. And now in the past, many, many times they've been like beauty favorites in specific, and I might have a few, but this video specifically is about things that have changed my life. Things that are so good that I could not not share them with the internet in a YouTube video. I need to talk about these items because every time I use them, they are literally life-changing. I purchased all of these items myself. I'm just gonna go through and tell you guys about everything that has been literally the best things that I have used in a really long time. A lot of this is house stuff, which honestly I think that a lot of you guys can relate to even more. There are gonna be some baby things in here, which you can just skip over. I'll try to like put timestamps or something down below, or maybe if I can. But basically I have like, like a stroller recommendation. I'm just gonna hop into it and tell you guys what my literal favorite things are right now. I wish I would have gotten a long time ago. Before we hop into the favorites video, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've been working with them on year four now, so it's been a really long time. If you don't know who they are, they're a male delivery service. They deliver meals directly to your door each week. They come in an insulated box and inside that box are the meals that you have pre-chosen. And in those bags have all the ingredients. There also are recipe cards and you flip over the card and on the back it has all of the steps in order to make the meal. They're very quick, very easy, very good. If you're looking to change up your routine, to find some new meals, to try things that you've probably never thought of before, I'm telling you the meals are divine. This week's meal was absolutely delicious. My son loved it. He's a year and a half old and absolutely loved it. It was this like delicious curry chick people. So, so, so good. You can choose from 55 plus weekly options featuring seasonal pre-portioned ingredients picked at the peak of their ripeness. If you ever wanted or needed to, you can update your delivery address and enjoy HelloFresh at your vacation destination with just a click. Plans are flexible so they can work with your changing schedule. HelloFresh offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. They also are the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable. They're very balanced meals. They have tons of veggies in them. They're very fresh. They're just really, really good. So I highly recommend trying it out if you have not. I have been in love with the service for years and I will continue to be a huge, huge lover of their meals. Mm. Always makes me wonder why we don't eat chickpeas more. I know, I know, makes me mad. This is good. Really, um, really flavorful. Feels really healthy, but not plain. Really awesome. Oh, so good. If you're looking for a veggie dish, I would highly recommend this. So good. If you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, go to hellofresh.com and use code RAWBEAUTY16 for up to 16 free meals across seven boxes and three surprise gifts. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video. And now we're gonna hop into the rest of my favorite things that I've been loving this month. You guys are not ready. These are so good, like from jammies to air fryers, to the strollers, to microscopes for plants. This is gonna be a weird one, but I'm ready, let's go. I have a big list of things and these are all over the place, but let's just hop into it. First things first, I have been told 100 million times by everyone on the internet, by TikTok, by every single app, by every single person that I know in my personal life and online, that an air fryer is the way to go. Why did I hold off so long in getting one? I don't know. I think because I assumed, what's the difference? It's gonna sit on my counter all the time. It's gonna be kind of ugly. I don't know. I just didn't feel like I was gonna get that much use out of something like an air fryer because what's the difference of an oven? I could just cook it in a pan. I could just cook it in the microwave. So I, always, I never really wanted one because it was just gonna sit on the counter all the time and be ugly. Like they're just like this big plastic, black, shiny looking thing. And then I saw that Drew Barrymore came out with one from a line called Beautiful Kitchenware. And it is an actually aesthetically pleasing looking one. Now I got the sage green color. There is white, there's black, there's blue, there's all different colors and they are actually really nice looking on the counter. I still would rather not have anything sitting there but if I'm gonna have something there all the time, I want it to at least look like it can fit the look of the kitchen. So I got the double size one, I think it's a nine quart. They have a six quart one as well, which is just a single basket. But I got the double because I'm feeding a family of three and I wanted to be able to cook more than one thing in it at a time. When I tell you this thing has actually changed my life, I am not exaggerating when I say that. I held off for so long because I was like, it is not going to be worth it. There's no way I'm going to use it enough to justify it. I've used it probably 20 times and I've had it for a week. So this is going into a favorites video and I know I haven't had it that long, maybe a week and a half. I know for a fact I will use this forever and it will be a staple in my home, a staple. It cooks three times faster than my oven at minimum. It is 
easy to clean. It is easy to cook. There is like no preheating time needed. Makes everything so crispy and browned and amazing. Like I put chicken thighs in there, okay? And normally something like that would take like 45 minutes maybe in the oven to get it to the crispiness that I like. 20 minutes in the air fryer. It was done, crispy, amazing, juicy, perfection. Literally perfection. We make sweet potatoes in it, broccoli. I And interestingly, if you were to like put frozen broccoli in the oven, let's say at 400, I feel like it wouldn't get roasted like black, like not blackened, but like crispy. Whereas when I put it in the air fryer in like 20 minutes, it was perfectly crispy and absolutely amazing. And it had been pre-frozen. It wasn't even like fresh broccoli. I cannot even tell you I'm eating twice as healthy, twice as often at home instead of like going out to eat. It can make everything that an oven can make. It's not microwave, so it's not like smushy. Everything is just so good. It has been the best purchase I've ever made. Now I do have some beef with it and that is only that I'm a little worried about the nonstick coating being toxic in a way. Um, I don't know. We don't tend to use nonstick at all at home in cooking. We use cast iron. I, it's just the convenience of it. It's making me eat healthier. So like I wonder is the trade off? <laughs> I mean like it's literally Really so good you guys it looks really nice sitting on the counter cannot recommend it enough bought everything that I'm talking about in this video myself by the way none of this stuff is like affiliated with me or anything like that I'm gonna have the links for everything down in the description so if you guys are looking to get any of this stuff everything will be linked below I'm not even exaggerating it has been the game changiest thing that I've ever purchased in my life and the first time I use it I was really mad at myself for waiting as long as I did so highly recommend my next favorite are jammies and these I got from Target. Now they are the brand stars above and I've seen people all over the world using these. I mean, obviously people love these jammies but they are a fabric called Mod Modal, M-O-D-A-L. And when I effing tell you the texture of Modal or whatever, I'm gonna call it Modal. I may be saying it wrong, maybe model. I don't know what it is. Modal is a form of rayon, another plant-based textile. It is thought to be more durable and flexible than the standard version. Some call it the underwear fabric. Some just look at it as an environmentally friendly textile option. Either way, Modal is revolutionizing the fashion industry with its lightweight, stretchy, breathable nature. It takes beech tree pulp and turns it into an eco-conscious, durable option for clothing and housewares. When I effing tell you that the texture of this fabric is the most comfortable, lightweight, cool to the touch fabric. I cannot even describe how much I love it. So I got my son some pajamas as well. So these are, I, they actually came out of the dirty laundry. They probably have kids stuff all over them, but they're inside out. They're probably like dirty covered in avocado toast. But the texture of this fabric, you guys, it's like it's like nothing you've ever felt. It's so soft and pliable and slimby and cool and it's really comfortable to sleep in. I wear these jammies every single day. I got these from Target. The Stars Above ones are from Target. I have them in like four different pairs. Super comfortable, especially if you're a nursing mama because it is a button up and you can easily just whip your titty out with just unbuttoning one of the buttons whip a boob out. Easy, easy, easy. As far as these go, they are that like slim fit. So they just look like so adorable in these jammies. They're long sleeve and they're long pants. Um, I'm sure you can find other ones. I got these ones from Amazon and I got these ones from Target. I got myself some Amazon ones as well. Again, I'll have everything linked below if you guys are looking to actually pick up the ones that I have. But these kids jammies are absolutely wonderful. And again, they're like that really snug fit. Oh my God, they're so they like, they just, they're little bodies, how cute they look running around the house in their little toddler tight butt jammies. Oh my God, they're so cute. He feels comfortable in them. He loves them. I got them in multiple colors. Wonderful. Cannot recommend them enough. Same with the stars above jammies. I get them in the size XL and XL. XL because I like them to be really loose fitting. I don't want anything tight. I just want to be really comfy and loose fitting and slimby and just, you know, highly recommend. I don't think anyone would hate them. The texture is wonderful and they are the best. Okay, so speaking of Target, I bought this from Target as well. And this is the Function of Beauty Straight Hair Shampoo. Now, is it like that good longevity wise for my hair? Literally don't know, only been using it for like two or three weeks. Is it the best smelling shampoo I've ever smelled in my life? I think so. The way that I could put the scent on this one is citrus popsicle. That's like the best way that I can describe it. It's literally one of the best smelling things I've ever smelled. Every time I'm in the shower, I just sit here and sniff the shampoo. It's very strongly scented, but not in like a gross way because it's a citrus scent. It literally smells to me like it's made with the rind of oranges and grapefruit and lemon. And then they mixed it in with like a red and orange popsicle. And then, oh, it's just so good. I absolutely love the smell of it. It lathers really good, 
So here's the thing. Function of Beauty is one of those brands that is typically like very highly sponsored on YouTube. So they have like the um, typical shampoos that you see like where it'd be like Function of Christie, which I have tried in the past and I use like the purple shampoo version. I liked it. It was nothing like revolutionary, but like is any shampoo. I've never used any shampoo where I'm like, no, you guys will die. It literally changes the texture of your hair to like the most perfect soft. I will say my hair is extremely shiny. Maybe that's just the way I'm styling it though. Don't know. All I know is that this is the best smelling shampoo. I don't even use conditioner anymore because I I have such short hair that it doesn't tangle anymore. I'm gonna keep it this short too. Like I'm gonna keep it this short or shorter. I'm just really digging the short hair and I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go back to long if I'm honest. So this is made in the USA. It is cruelty free, 100% vegan, made with recycled plastic, 100% recyclable, sulfate free, paraben free, and 92% naturally derived. I don't know. All I know is that some people, when they talk about function of beauty say, it made my hair fall out. Other people are like, not only did it not make my hair fall out, it's the best my hair has ever looked. Here's my vibe. I don't know anything about it. I'm not gonna claim to say that a shampoo did or did not make somebody's hair fall out. What I will say is that I think maybe sometimes people are a little more critical of it because it is such a highly sponsored product online. So people are really like looking at it with a fine tooth comb. I will say that people's hair naturally at times goes through a thing called telogen effluvium, which is when your hair falls out after a stressful event. Could be childbirth. You hear about like postpartum hair loss. That's like a stressful event for your body. You may not have felt stressed out by it, probably did. But even if you didn't, your body knows it's a stressor. Sometimes like a death of a family member or really stressful period at work, heavy weight loss. Lots of different things can make your hair go through this like intensive shedding period. I've gone through it many times in my life, especially after losing weight, having a baby, all those things. But maybe it just happened to coincide with using the product. Maybe it is from the shampoo. All I can speak for is myself and then I've been using it for three weeks. I've had no hair loss and my hair looks really healthy. Love the smell of it. That's all I can say. So I'm just gonna say, I love it. If nothing else, go to Target and smell it. I did not know that Function of Beauty was sold at Target. I thought it was specifically one of those products that you have to buy like from an influencer's code online or something. No, I just got it straight from the store and it smells amazing. Okay, speaking of smelling amazing, when I tell you in my life, I have never smelled a soap that I like this much, I mean it. This is the Method Hand Wash and this is Vanilla Raspberry. Now, baby, don't, don't. It smells so good. I wash my hands 10 times more with this just because I like the smell of it. It smells exactly like what I said, vanilla raspberry, but like in the most luxurious, gorgeous way. Everybody that comes to my house, I make them wash their hands with it. My husband was like, dang, that really does smell good. I bought six refill bottles of it because this isn't like really nice, like aluminum packaging. So you can use the refill bottles for it. So I got the refills for this. Well, I'm just not even exaggerating. It is the best smelling soap. Like I said, if nothing else, go to Target and just smell it. Just go smell it. Even if you don't buy it, when you're at Target, go into the soap aisle and smell it. It is divine. I got the refills on Amazon, but I did buy this just at the store in Target. It's so wonderful. It says inside the resilient reusable beauty, you find a biodegradable formula that feels luxurious, smells oh so sensational. Let's hear it for consistently classy countertops made without parabens or phthalates, cruelty free, not tested on animals, dermatologist tested for sensitive skin. Bitch, when I tell you it's the best smelling soap I've ever smelled in my life, I hands down mean it. Go smell it. Let me smell it again. Have it. Heaven help me. It smells like, do you know those candies back in the day? They're called um, cream savers. The raspberry cream savers, but lu luxury raspberry cream savers. Okay, one more kid thing, and then I'm gonna move on from kid things. These shoes, I got them from Amazon. These are toddler shoes. They have them in baby, they have them in toddler, they have them all different sizes. They are like a stretchy fabric type of shoe. They're very stretchy. They come in all different sizes, colors, everything. They're just so easy to put on. They're so wonderful. If you have a kid, I'm telling you, these are really nice shoes. They slip on very, very easily. They're not a hassle. There's no tying, there's no Velcro. You just zoop, right on the foot. Very easy, quick, grab and go. I just really like them. I have them in like six different colors. They're wonderful. I have nothing bad to say about them. I have bought them in like the little sizes and then I'm sizing up with every age he goes because they're just great shoes. They go with every outfit. They have every color to go with everything. They have like a yellowy one, a pinkier one. They have coral, they have brown, black, gray, green, all kinds of different shoes. And they're just really great toddler shoes. I absolutely love them. My son is currently in size 22 or size seven. Like that's kind of weird. You can see his dirty little feet from walking around outside. They're great shoes. Highly recommend if you have a kid. I will have them linked below. So this is my garden hat. I got it from Amazon. I love it. It is not too wide of a brim, but it does block out the sun. It has a little cinch right here. If you wanna keep it up under your neck, I don't tend to do that, but you can if you want to. It's very comfortable. It's lightweight. It's darling. I feel really cute in it. And it really does help keep the sun off of my head. When the sun hits my head and stays on my head too long, I get nauseous and I feel like heat 
strokey. I don't know, I don't like it. However, this is a wonderful hat and I love it. And I just sent the link to both of my best friends and they both got it because it's really cute and they both wore it and they were at my house and they're like, man, it's just, it's like the perfect garden hat. And it really is. Anyway, they're all linked below. This is from Amazon. I hate supporting that. I hate billionaires as much as the next people, but like none of my stores carry this stuff anymore. It's like, cre it's by by design that all of these stores are going out of freaking business and not carrying anything anymore. And then we have to shop on Amazon. Isn't that the way of the world? Okay, so this next product, hmm. It's kind of weird. So this is a handheld little plant microscope. So basically what this is, is you turn it on here. There's a light on the back. So you flick the light on and then you can look on each side. There's a light on each side. I don't know if you can tell and switches from the big one to the little one. I usually use the little one and basically you just look through it and it is like that magnifying microscope. I don't know if you guys have seen my microscope series that I have here on YouTube. I will have it linked up here, but it is a microscope that you can look at your plants and identify if there are any bugs living on your plants. So if you are into gardening if you are into plants and your plant is maybe not looking that great and you're just like what is going on with it take out your microscope flip the leaves over look and see if you see any little black spots if you see any little white spots if you see any little webbing you can confirm with this what you are looking at so like i was looking outside and i saw these little flat bugs on it looked up close thrips looked up close aphids, looked up close, spider mites, looked up close, scale. So you can see those things on your plants, identify them with this. So basically you can be able to like, just get close enough because some of these bugs are literally like microscopic. And this is just like handheld. You don't have to plug it in. You just look right up close and it's, it's basically like a magnifying glass, but it magnifies it like, I don't know what it says, like 10 times, hundred times. I don't know, it's, it's a ton. Enough that you can see in really large scale what you are looking at. It's very, very handy. I've gotten a ton of use out of this. Love it so much. This is the brand I've, I've a Vivasun. Anyway, I'll have it linked down below. Really, really useful to have. We keep one in the greenhouse, we keep one in the house. And sometimes you can just like whip it out and be like, oh great, we have mites on this plant. And then you know how to treat it, or what to do. Very useful. Office BFFs. This is such a good book. Now, if you guys, I'm sure you guys know since you've been following me, The Office is my favorite show of all time. I've probably seen it over a hundred times. That sounds pathetic, but I don't care. It is such a good show. It is 10 times funnier than anyone could even imagine it being if you haven't seen it. A lot of people don't give it a shot because season one is a little bit slow. Understood, I felt that way for a really long time too. And then I watched it and I literally felt like these people were my family and I felt a connection with the characters that I've never felt in any show I've ever watched. When people make that joke, liking The Office isn't a personality trait. I will say to you, not liking The Office isn't either. It is the best show. They are my family. It is, I don't care. I don't care how it sounds. I don't care if it's cringe. I don't care. Leave me alone. And you're not my real dad. So this book is written by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. They have a podcast called Office Ladies Podcast, which I have also listened to every single week. It, I'm completely caught up and I am eagerly awaiting each new pod. It's my favorite podcast, my favorite show, and my favorite book. So it is extremely, extremely good. I got the actual hard copy book and the audiobook. I listened to the audiobook and now I'm going through and looking at the pictures. It's just wonderful. I love the way it's written. I love the behind the scenes. It's just such a good book. It made me feel really good listening to it. I really enjoyed it. I wanna listen to it again, just because sometimes you, you don't get everything the first time around. And Jenna and Angela, you know who they are. It's Pam and Angela from The Office. And they wrote this book together about being BFFs and meeting each other on the show and all the experiences that they have experienced in life together, having their children, being on the show and behind the scenes and you know red carpet events and all of those things that you just wouldn't get anywhere else. It's just like the behind the scenes. That's just so lovely to listen to. And the show itself and the cast members and everybody on it are just such genuine people. And I, I just, genuinely feel such a deep connection with these people. And I feel like we would all be BFFs if they would just give me a chance. Take a chance on me, please. <laughs> anyway, great book, loved it so much. All the photos, I cannot recommend the audiobook enough. They both narrate it and it's just wonderful. So highly recommend Office BFFs. Let's talk about hair for a second. The Volume Rudy. This is the Volume Rudy here. I did a full review on it. If you guys are looking for that video, I show you guys me using it for the first time, give you my first impressions review. I am still in love with it. I use it every time I do my hair. It adds a significant amount of volume. You might not think like, wow, that hair is not voluminous. You should have seen it before I used it. Flat as a flattest pancake that's ever pancake. It is the best hair product that I've ever purchased. It is my favorite thing I've ever gotten. And it is so effective. If you have fine thin hair, highly, highly recommend. I know it's expensive. A lot of people have dupes out there. So I don't personally know the dupes, but if you go to the comment section of my volume Rudy video, there are a lot of people recommending different dupes out there. And I'm sure that if you were to Google it, you could find one as well. That is a lot cheaper. I will say though, that I love the Volume Rudy. It is the best hair product I've ever purchased and I highly recommend it to 
anyone who needs additional volume in their hair and doesn't feel like teasing their hair. It is a basically a device that looks like a little checkerboard pattern. You just go clink, crimp, crimp underneath your hair and it adds a little bit of texture to the base of your hair and gives your hair volume. And that is that. It is worth every penny in my opinion. I love it with my entire heart. And again, I have a full video on if you guys wanna see a more in-depth look at what it does and how it works. I try it on my sister's hair. I try it on mine in the video and I use it every day. And I absolutely love it and think it is worth every single penny. You can see how like you can just zhuzh it up. It's the best, you guys. I love it so much. It is such a good product. If you guys like it let me know down below but i will try to like find a dupe for it as well and have it down below but i will also link the balloon rudy down below this is random everything in this video is random but that's why it's such a good one because it's all over the place in the best ways possible it's a hose so yes i have a favorites video and in that favorites video is a hose highly recommend this hose it is expensive it is worth every penny it has changed our lives so it's called hose link now i saw this mentioned on laura from garden answers youtube channel garden answers one of my favorite channels in the history of youtube she is a master gardener, incredible, has the most beautiful yard I've ever seen. I have learned more from her channel than anything else. It's so inspiring. We have created just beautiful spots of our yard because of her channel. And she recommended this hose called Hose Link. Now, basically it is a retractable hose. I'm not gonna lie, Hose Link is kind of ugly. Just like a big charcoal-y or white looking plastic thing sitting in the yard. I don't really care what it looks like though because it is so effective. It pulls out, the hose does, and then you can unreal the whole thing, water everything, that you need and then it just sucks right back in seamlessly you don't have to fuss with it it's not annoying you don't have a big hose reel that you're having to reel up it is the hose reel the nozzle is great it is just so wonderful you can connect it to a wall you can connect it to a standalone section i highly recommend it we have one in our garden and we have one connected to our house i want to get multiple of them they are like in the 200 and something dollar range but they are so worth it if you are somebody that uses your hose a lot and they lay on the ground they're unsightly they're annoying you're having to reel it up all the time i could highly recommend hose link it is just so useful for somebody that's out using a hose often or gardening or all of those things so hose link highly recommend i said that those were the last kids product i was going to recommend um i lied i <laughs> didn't realize i lied until i looked at my list two more things if you have a child and your child is running around trying to run into traffic trying to get away from you trying to run into the store, grab a bunch of plants and rip at them when you're in public. And you're like, I need something to restrain my child, but I don't want them on a leash. Obviously a stroller might be the right answer, right? Well, why didn't I think of it for the longest time? I don't know. I was just chasing my child around and feeling frustrated and feeling overwhelmed and sweating and being like, how do people do this? A stroller, for God's sake, a stroller. Everyone knows this, right? Well, I didn't think about it because we have the Bob stroller, which is great. And it's a great like off-roading all-terrain stroller. We love it. We've gotten significant amount of use out of the Bob stroller but it's just too big to lug around it's not something that you can keep in the car all the time it really doesn't break down small at all so we keep it set up at the house for when we want to go on walks like all terrain like on grass on gravel on like bumpy ro dirt roads wherever we go because we live in the middle of the woods you know and so I have the bob stroller set up all the time and we just didn't ever take it with us and so we were always just kind of like chasing our kiddo around and we got to the point where we were out and we were in this cutest little town and our son literally only wanted to play in oncoming traffic. So we were constantly having to go chase him and be like, dude, stop. And then we thought we should get a stroller. So I asked on Instagram stories and I was like, bro, what is a stroller that I can get that breaks down really, really small? I want something that's grab and go, flip open, done. My manager actually saw my story and she messaged me and said, the pocket GB city. And then I looked in all the responses and I got so many people saying that same thing. So I went onto Amazon, I purchased it. And when I effing tell you, it pops together in one second. It pops down one second. It's actually boop, gone, boop, boop. It's, it's actually that fast. It is the best stroller. My son loves it. It glides great. I got the city. They do have an all-terrain as well. Um, oh my God. It's literally so good. I cannot recommend it enough. It's like 200 something, I think. It is kind of expensive. Holy shit, it breaks down so small. It breaks down maybe into about this size, about that big, about that tall. Wheels fold in so fast, so easy, so amazing. I cannot recommend it enough, you guys. It's the best. It is the best stroller ever. It's so handy. He loves riding in it. He says, well, walk, go a walk. And then we go for a walk and then we take him out in it. Holy shit, we're not gonna chase him around anymore. He likes riding in it. It is the best, highly recommend. Oh my God, I can't even say it enough. Pocket GB city, all city, I think is what it is. This is extravagant. 
and I am aware of it. The joy it brings to my child, it is absolutely worth every moment. It is absolutely worth every penny. It is absolutely worth every bit of my home that it takes up, an amount of noise <laughs> that it creates. And it is called the Play Small Bounce House. Now I got the rainbow gate in like the, it was color tadpole. I think it's called blue now, I'm not sure, but it was the color tadpole when I purchased it. And it is a bounce house that is six by six and it goes in your, your home or outside. It can be indoor or outdoor. It has a blower. And basically this company created these bounce houses to be like a non eyesore bit of fun for your kid because a lot of times bounce houses are like primary colors. They're like red, blue, green, yellow, and they're very like bright clownish looks to them. Whereas this one is very aesthetically pleasing. It looks nice for kids and it, the blower isn't ugly. It's just, it's not super loud. It's still loud, but it's not super, super loud. And my son loves it so much. He a bouncy house, a bouncy house. <laughs> so yeah, he's so cute. It's wonderful. I could not recommend it enough. It was like $400, which is pretty expensive, but we've gotten so much use out of it already. Kids come over and want a little playtime, having fun, but getting kind of bored, whip out the bounce house. It's very small, takes up a small footprint. It's still large and enjoyable. It has a slide that comes off of it. It's really good to look at. It's enjoyable in that way, but it's not so big that like you need it to be outside like those giant ones you see, like that people get for like renting at a wedding and stuff like that. You guys, it's just wonderful. Could not recommend it enough. Play Small is the brand. It took a few months to get to me because I ordered it on pre-order. I think that they do it a lot that way because they had so many orders come in. So from the time I ordered it to the time I actually got it, it might've been about three months. It's wonderful. I cannot speak highly enough about it. Another thing that I really like about it is when you break it down and fold it up, it actually fits inside the bag that it was sent in. Sometimes things are like a, like a Christmas tree or like a computer you could never fit it back in or like blocks that you get for a kid. You could never fit it back in where it came because it just so perfectly fits if you have it in the right way. This I feel like I don't even have to like work super hard to get it to fit in the bag. The bag is big enough for it to go in. It's really wonderful. I love it so much. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's kind of like a higher end purchase, but if you have like multiple kids or if you are wanting to get it for like a birthday party or whatever you wanna get it for, I really, really love it. I am really glad we purchased it. I have two more items. And well, the first item is a water bottle. I got it from Target and it is the brand LO. I don't have it with me right now, but I'm gonna be showing you guys footage of it when I'm using it. Okay, you can see. I'm slacking, it's 1.30, and I haven't even reached 1 p.m. yet. Good enough for me. It's plastic, I wish it wasn't. I did buy an aluminum version of that same water bottle, but it doesn't have a handle, so I don't love it quite as much. This water bottle has gotten me to drink water. I don't ever feel the sensation of thirst very often. It's just something I've dealt with my entire life. I, I don't need recommendations for it. I just don't ever feel thirsty, so I forget to drink water. I'm still breastfeeding. I'm chronically dehydrated. It's just a part of my life. It's just something that I'm gonna deal with forever. I never feel thirst, but this water bottle gets me to drink my daily allotted amount of water. Just the, the shape of it, the, the spout on the mouth, everything about it is perfect for me. It has a handle, it's easy to lug around with me. I fill it up in the morning and it's gone by the end of the night. It's a wonderful water bottle. Again, I got it from Target. I'm gonna link it down below. I believe you'll probably get it from Amazon. You can pretty much get everything from Amazon, but it is such a good water bottle from the brand LO. And I really, really like it. I also, again, like the aluminum one. It has like a, it's like the kind of material where it holds its temperature. So like if you put hot liquids in it, it'll hold it for 24 hours. Same with cold liquids. So it's really nice if you wanna like fill it up with ice water and take it with you. I just wish it had a handle. It does have a handle on the top, but it doesn't have like a, a, a grippy side handle, which would be really nice if it had that attached. But you know, no, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of hard to hold. The water bottle's not like easy to hold on because it's like a giant fat cylinder, you know? And just the spout on it is like silicone. It doesn't hold on to flavors. You know how sometimes drinking out of plastic, you're like, you can like taste the plastic. I can't with this water bottle. It's just neutral to me. I don't taste the plasticiness of it. Whereas I'm very sensitive to drinking out of plastic. I'm like, it tastes like, Blah, blah, blah. Not this, just for me. I really, really enjoy it a lot and would highly recommend it. It also has the times on the side so you can see like to 9 a.m., to 11, to two, to four. Like you can drink just that amount during that time and it just helps me to be able to drink so much more water. Still loving it, been using it for about a year now and it's just great. So can't recommend it enough. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is kind of weird, but if you live rurally, I could not recommend it enough and that is Starlink internet. Now look, I'm not the biggest fan of Elon Musk either. You know, just, it is what it is though. And beggars can't be choosers, okay? And with internet, I am a beggar when it comes to internet, okay? We had unlimited bill and nomad internet for the longest time here at the house. I don't know if you guys know what like internet speeds should be. My dad has fiber internet. 
because he lives, you know, further away from us and he has fiber internet. He gets a thousand megabits per second or a gigabit, a gigabyte per second. On the other hand, when we had unlimited bill internet, which is like mobile hotspot internet. So it runs off of the cell phone towers, which is all we can get rurally. We couldn't get any other rural internet other than satellite internet, which was garbage, literally not fast enough to even stream a, a TV show or a YouTube video. So the internet that we get rurally because we live in the middle of the woods, we had to have two different internet services and each one was $150 per month. I have to do that because the internet is my job and I was having to like connect to different ones at the different times a day, depending on how they were working. We were getting 0.9 megabits per second download speed and 0.1 upload speed. Now that is like a million times less fast than a typical internet. It was so bad that all of the shows and everything we would do would buffer constantly. Sometimes it would take 24 to 36 hours to upload a YouTube video. For um, perspective of how fast it used to take when I lived in town, it was like 25 minutes to upload a YouTube video. And then it would take 25 hours to upload from this house here. So it was actually shocking. And since moving into this house and being on the internet, it makes me upload 10 times less, which I could say that's an excuse, but it actually is so bad, you guys. Like I, it, it's so bad. I, I couldn't like FaceTime, you couldn't stream anything. You can't do anything online. You could barely watch a TV show without it buffering every 30 seconds, or you'd watch it in like 240p, really, really bad quality. So then we signed up for Starlink like two years ago. If you don't know what Starlink is, it's Elon Musk's business. Um, so he, you know, owns Tesla and all these freaking other companies or whatever. But he started this thing called Star uh, Starlink, which is basically sending these like tiny little satellites into space and they're all like a million of them up there. And the reason he created this company was to create rural internet for people because there are so many people without internet access, people in like rural Canada or in the middle of the United States where there's just nothing around and you have no options and all these people are left without internet. And if you do get it, it's extremely expensive and the speeds are stupid slow, 0.9 megabits per second, you guys, not even one megabit per second. I could barely read an email. I digress. So we signed up for Starlink like two years ago and we had to pay, um, I can't remember what it was to sign up, but we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for it to be available in our area. We finally got it maybe about two months ago. We live in the middle of nowhere. We get 150 megabits per second. We, nothing buffers. We can watch everything. I can FaceTime, I can do Zoom. I can read a million emails at a time while I'm uploading, while I'm watching TikTok. While I'm, you guys, it's constant. We get incredible internet now. It is worth every penny. It's $150 per month. So it's a very reasonable price for internet. It worked instantly. It was as fast as putting the thing in the yard and plugging it in. When I tell you that's actually how fast, there was no configuring it. There was no waiting for updates. There was nothing. It was instantaneously working, instantaneously fast, perfect internet, not have never dropped off. It's wonderful. It is the solution if you live rurally, highly recommend. It is very good internet. I have no complaints about it so far. Yes, there's like a little thing that has to sit in the yard. It's nothing like an ugly ass satellite it moves along with the satellites in the sky. I mean, there are some downfalls to having Starlink in general is that it can cause like sky pollution or whatever, like litter in the sky. Like essentially like there's just these plastic satellites, hundreds and hundreds of them floating around in space now. I don't know. I don't know the solution. Maybe there'll be a better thing to do one day and we can shoot those shit down from the sky. And there's like, I don't know, a lot of like astronomers and people that are looking up at the sky are like, this is so ugly and this is, sucks. And I hate that, but I don't know a better solution right now. All I know is it's a great internet service for somebody that's rural and it has really changed the game for me as far as being in the middle of the woods and living this lifestyle and doing a job online. Those are my favorites. I know they were very random and they were all over the place. They didn't include any makeup items, I think. I do have some favorite makeup items, but this video is long enough. I hope you guys liked this video, that it was somewhat useful for you and helpful and that you enjoyed watching. I'm gonna have every product that I mentioned linked in the description of this video, like I said, Highly recommend everything. I I very, very picky about what I talk about here online. You guys, these products are so good. I don't think you will ever be disappointed in any of them. I love them so much with my whole heart and I just can't recommend them enough. I just think that all of these things are tried, trust, tested and true and have been working great for me and really made my life a lot easier. So, all right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was fun to watch and that you guys enjoyed it. And I thank you guys so much for watching and leave any comments of anything that you guys are liking in the comments down below if you think that anything fits along with what I've kind of talked about. and. I will see you at my next video. Bye.